Hello, it's Sarah. So I decided to do a tutorial on this little uh, file folder mini album that I put up a video yesterday or today. Um, it's by Michelle. She's actually from New Zealand. And the measurements weren't exact on her, so I just went through and I did it myself. So what you're going to need, I use these heavyweight um, f um, tab f folders. So these are from Staples, and they are quite heavy. The paper is very thick, so I mean, I don't think you need to use the heaviest heavyweight, um, but that they do hold up. Um, I'm going to be sniffing. I'm sorry. The pollen's getting me. Uh, let's see. So you need four for the way I make it. Um, I do one with a tab all the way to the left, one with a tab all the way to the right, and one with a tab in the middle. Okay, so let me see if you can see that. Okay, so that's going to make up the album, and then you need an extra one, either with the left or the right, because you don't need the whole folder. Either way, if you have one with one on the left or the right, that's for the cover, because I'll show you why you need that. Okay, so you're going to have that. You also need some of these tags. These are the ink, ink central ones. These are the... Uh, six and a quarter by three and a quarter inch tags. You need actually six of those because you make, um, you use three of them for the regular uh, tags that you get, that go in the top loading pocket. And then three of them are gonna be the little uh, add-ons in, in the middle. So you hinge them um, and you make the little add-ons. So you need six all together of them. And then what you're gonna do is cut your file folders down to six inches. So you take the big file folder. I already did it because I'm not going to have enough time. This is the cover, first of all. So it can be one of the right tab file folders or the left tab file folders because you don't, you only need this portion of it for the cover, the way I set it up. Um, and it's five inches from this tab to the spine and six inches down because the whole mini album is six inches down. I'm going to try and all right, so that's your cover. I'll put the, I think I can put some um, measurements down in the description box. Um, so you have that. Then you're gonna need, so the three pieces of file folder that you have left, you just put it into, I should have left these whole. Put it in your paper cutter just as it is. So you're gonna put it in and go from here to here six inches. This is six inches. This is the part you need to be six inches because when you fold it, it ends up, this part is six inches. So hopefully, I mean, I don't know. You know what? I should probably, I could, I'll cut another one. So you take, I could do this. I hope it, I, I'm, I might have to make a part two because, um, I can only video like 10 minutes at a time. So let's see if this uh, gets a shot. So this file folder right here, see this is the, the this side one. So I want this to be six inches. So I'm just gonna put that edge at six inches and then just go down. It's the double, the whole thing. This is extra. But save this because this is going to be for the pockets, the side loading pockets. We use the extra file folder. So now you have this, a whole big piece, and it's the tab on the left. Then you're going to do the same thing, but for your middle tab, you want to line it up at three inches at the center of the tab. So let's see if I can show you that right here. So here's my three inch line right here. So I'm going to center this tab on the three inch line so that the middle tab is going to be in the middle. So then I'm going to cut off this side of the file folder, flip it around, and put this right up at six inches, and it should be centered with the um, tab right in the center. So now you have this in the center. See how that's in the center? So you have, sorry I'm sniffing, but I told you the pollen killed me. So you have this top one, the middle one, and then we're going to do the bottom. So you just do the same thing with the bottom, butt it up against six inches, 
and voila. So now you have your three pieces. That's the extra. Middle, bottom. So bottom, let me move this. Here's the bottom, middle, top. Okay, so then after we fold them, they're going to look like that. And then this, uh, the, t the cover that I had you cut, the 5x6 cover, goes on top of that. So that'll be another top. So it'll be top, bottom, middle, top. All right, so then I already have these. I, I could have um, done measurements for scoring, but I decided it is just easier, and these are really hard to fold. So what you end up doing is to get this W shape, and this is what Michelle shows you in her, the paper, um, what is it, paper, my passion for paper, I think it is. You get this W, okay? So that's what you're going to end up with, three pieces of these. And how you do that is I take... The back, the the biggest part of the of each one. So the tab, the top, the the bot. You know, I'm sorry, I'm, my words are getting twisted. But these tab parts is what you're going to start with. So you're going to take that tab and go up. But you're going to use the short side so the tab sticks over. This will be hard to do on camera, but I'm going to show you with the one I've already done. So you start like this, and you start with your tab. A big tab on the back and you go up and you put that even with this that is going to come up and be even with that and then you score it real well with your um, folder because it is this is very thick paper then you flip it over and this just goes even with the spine this is going to be the spine so don't worry about up here where it reaches because that's going to be your pocket anyway so now you have this W all right, so one more time, I'm going to show you that. You get, you have your next piece, which is the middle piece, and you start with that at the bottom, on the top and the bottom, and you fold it up so that the edges touch this edge, and you score it really hard. So you have your tab sticking out. The tab should be sticking out of the fold. And then flip it over and just fold this up to wherever it reaches, but just so that this is the spine, that'll be even, the spine will be even, and then you get that W. So now you have your third piece, and again, you start with the, the tab on the bottom and facing up. So you're gonna take this little edge here and go all the way up to here and go even with this edge, crease this really tight, flip it over, and then go, and wherever this reaches, it reaches, but just make sure your, um, this is your spine, so that stays even. So now what you end up with is, here's your middle, the, the bo top tab, middle tab, bottom tab, okay, that's the book, and then I have papers all over here, so now I can't find my cover. It's around here somewhere. Here it is. And then the cover is going to be the top tab again. So that's your top tab. So that's actually what the cover looks like. All right. Eight minutes. I'm going to have to do a part two. Um, and we'll go into, you're going to ink everything up. Actually, you don't have to ink the top and bottom edges because after you glue it all together, you can ink that. But you need to definitely get the edge here when you make a pocket and I'll show you what I mean real quick. I'm going to have to, we're going to have to go, but right here, you want this edge inked so that you can see where your pocket is. Okay. So that's it. I'll be right back and we'll do another part two.